Wright, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. And take a look at who we will have helping me do the weather tomorrow. It's Peach from Nativity Elementary School. We're looking forward to doing that. I got to tell you, the weather will be not quite warm enough for peaches, but things are going to be looking on the up and up. Temperatures this morning were quite cold. But that coldest of air is sliding off into northwest Minnesota now, and that's a trend that we will see continue. It's been the north wind throughout the day, and as we head into our evening here at 512, we have 10 degrees in Thief River Falls, 14 in Detroit Lake. Sisseton, you have 21. Valley City right now at 16 degrees, so cool across the region. Cooler than it's been in quite some time. And we've had a lot of icy, mixed precipitation, a lot of reduced visibilities across the area, but conditions are improving. A few flurries now making their way through Traverse County, south of Wilkin County now, and not much of this is even reaching the ground, but still some slippery spots are certainly likely in southern portions of Richland County, right up here in North Dakota, south of Wapaton. Also, I-29 near Roberts County and Sisseton could be still a little on the slippery uh, spot uh, out there. Now, taking a look at visibilities, most places quite improved, and any fogginess is still limited in Becker County and in and around the Detroit Lakes Basin. Take a look at the sliver of the sunset as we time lapse the setting sun tonight with the streaming clouds moving from north to south across the region this evening. Really pretty quiet weather, but the wind out there making these teens feel like single digits. That's right, we have a wind chill tonight. It feels like four on exposed skin as we look at that live shot right now. Boy, a gorgeous sunset in the making. Take a look at that beautiful sunset. Hey, we're enjoying about a minute and a half or so of extended daylight each and every day. And we'll take advantage of that temperature-wise in the forecast. And here is your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. If you're heading outdoors this evening, coldest of the air, northwest Minnesota, will continue to slowly slide to the east. Look at this. Temperatures rising as we go through the late evening hours. Now, as we head into the overnight, uh, 10 o'clock, the wind will switch around just a little bit and become southerly as we start our day tomorrow. So south winds will increase 15 to 25 miles per hour. That means we're going to be shipping in the clouds again. And as the clouds move in, we'll have a chance of mixed precipitation. That means slippery roads, especially when this precipitation falls on a frozen road surface, on a frozen sidewalk surface. So from first thing in the morning, when you're getting up, heading to work or school, to midday, Conditions will be quite on the slippery side and wind chilly. With temperatures that rise up into the 30s tomorrow afternoon, it will feel all day like it's in the teens and low 20s thanks to the gusty south winds. But it's those south winds that, boom, return the warmth to the valley. 23 in Wadena tomorrow afternoon, 31 Roseau, 34 Devil's Lake. Tomorrow evening, the chance of any snow or flurries moves off to the east. And this also includes lakes country in the southern valley as we go into the late evening hours. Hit and miss missed. Did you get that? Hit and miss, missed across the valley. All right, here is a look at the chance for some light icing across the valley. That chance is greatest up in the far north. Southeast North Dakota tomorrow, 30s. Yes, but don't let this fool you. It will be a wind chilly day with wind chills down in the teens to around 20 degrees. Likewise, spotty flurries or freezing mist and temperatures near freezing or just below in most of lakes country. Speaking of lakes country, the Northland will have temperatures in Bemidji up 26 degrees. Hallock 32 and out to the west on Highway 2 from Devil's Lake all the way through Jamestown, north through Langdon and Kandu. Temperatures around freezing with gusty winds. Planning forecast. Let's take a look at this. As we look at temperatures on Friday that will be pushing 40 degrees, a chance of some late flurries. Now, Saturday into Sunday looks like the next chance of some more significant snow in the region. We'll keep our eyes on it. It does not look like the storm of the uh, season, but it certainly could bring slippery roads to the region Saturday night into Sunday. We'll keep our eyes on it. You keep your eyes on the roads, and it looks like more warm weather but hit and miss slipperiness as well. And stay tuned here, too, to Valley News Live. Yeah, or yeah, your forget. phone app. You know, you can call <laughs> that up anytime. Those are handy. Thanks. Do that. Yep.